evening everyone um, today i'm thinking to share uh, 25 golden rules to answer system design interview question these are not exhaustive this is very in, i mean beginner level but i think uh, before starting the real system design uh, session these 25 rules are very important though it is not exhaustive let me remind you uh, but the first to start from these 25 golden rules is not a bad idea okay so the rule number one is if you are dealing with a read happy system if we are dealing with a read happy system it is good to consider using a cache let me repeat again if you are dealing with read happy system it is a good idea to use a cache to improve the performance okay the rule number two if we need low latency in system if we need low latency in system it is always a good idea to consider cache and CDN. If we need low latency in system, it is always a good idea to consider using a cache and CDN. The third rule, if we are dealing with a write happy system, like earlier I told you, if your system is read happy, you need cache, right? But if we are dealing with a write happy system, it is a good to consider using a message queue for async processing. Because you, if you are dealing with very, very high write or Happy, right happy system right then your best friend is using the message queue and also asynchronous way right asynchronous processing rule number four if we need a system to be acid compliant if we need a system which is which required to be acid compliant we should go for rdbms or sql database okay rule number five if data is unstructured and does not require acid properties we should go for no sql database let me repeat again, if data is unstructured and does not require acid properties, we should go for no SQL database. Rule number six, if the system has complex data in the form of video, image file, or in general like doc document files, if the system has complex data like image, video, doc files, we always go for blob or object stories. Okay, rule number seven, if the system requires complex pre-computation like a news feed, we should always consider message queue and cache. Once again, re I'm repeating it. If this, this is rule number seven, if the system requires a complex pre-computation like a news feed, we should consider using message queue and cache. Rule number eight, if the system requires searching data in a high volume, we should consider using a search index, tries or search engine like Elasticsearch. If the system requires searching data in high volume we should always consider using a search index tries search engine like elastic search okay rule number nine if the system requires to scale sql database we should consider using database sorting once again i'm repeating rule number nine if the system requires to scale sql database we should consider using that database sorting rule number 10 if the system requires high availability performance and throughput let me repeat again if the system requires high availability performance and throughput we should consider using a load balancer. Let me repeat again. If the system requires high availability, performance and throughput, we should consider using a load balancer. Rule number 11. If the system requires faster data delivery globally, if the system requires faster data delivery globally, reliability, high availability and performance, we should consider a using CDN. So if the system requires faster data delivery globally, reliability, high availability and performance, we should consider a using CDN. Rule number 12, if the system has data with nodes, edges, and relationship like friend list and road connection, we should consider using a graph database. Rule number 12, let me repeat again. If the system has data with nodes, edges, and relationship like friend list and road connection, we should consider using graph database. If the system needs, rule number 13, if the system needs a scaling of a various components like servers, databases, etc., we should consider using horizontal scaling. If the system needs, let me repeat again, if the system needs a scaling of various components like servers, databases, and, and so on and so forth, like anything else also. So most of the cases, your friend here is horizontal scaling. Rule number 14, if the system requires high performing database queries, we should always consider using database, database indexes. If the system requires high performance database queries, we should consider using database indexes. Rule number 15, if the system requires bulk job processing, if the system requires bulk job processing, we should consider using batch processing and message queue. If the system requires bulk job processing, we should consider using batch processing and message queue. Rule number 16, if the system requires reducing server loads and preventing DOS attacks, 
we should consider using a rate limiter. If the system requires reducing server load and preventing DOS attacks, we should consider using rate limiter. Rule number 17, if the system has microservice, if the system has microservice, we should consider using an API gateway. If the system has microservices, consider using, okay, let me repeat again. Rule number 17, if the system has microservices, we should consider using an API gateway for authentication, termination, and routing. Please, once again, think that. If the system has microservices, we should consider using an API gateway for authentication, SSL termination, or routing, etc. Rule number eight, 18, rule number 18, if the system has a single point of failure, if the system has single point of failure, we should implement redundancy in the component, in that component, okay? Rule number 19, if the system needs to be fault tolerant and durable, if the system needs to be fault tolerant and durable, we should implement data replication, creating multiple copies of data on different servers. Rule number 20, if the system needs user to user communication, which is bi-directional, user to user communication bi-directional, in a fast way, we should always consider using web, web sockets. Let me repeat again, rule number 20, if the system needs user to user interaction, user to user communication, bi-directional in a fast way, fast possible way, we should always consider using web sockets. Rule number 21, if the system needs the ability to detect failures in a distributed system, if the system needs the ability to detect failures in a distributed system, we should consider implementing heartbeat. Okay, rule number 22, if the system needs to ensure data integrity, we should always consider implementing checksum algorithm. If the system needs to ensure data integrity, we should always consider implementing checksum algorithm. Okay, rule number 23, if the system needs to transfer data between various servers, if the system needs to transfer data between various servers in a decentralized way, we should always consider with, I mean, we should always think to use gossip protocol, um, like gossip protocol, okay? So if the system needs to transfer data between various servers in a decentralized way, we should always think about using the gossip, pro gossip protocol, okay? Rule number 24, if the system needs to scale server with add or removal of nodes efficiently, let me repeat again, if the system needs to scale servers with add or remove nodes efficiently, no hot spots we should implement consistent hashing. So if you want a system where server, the assignment of server will scale without impacting the nodes efficiency or no hot spots, we should always implement using consistent hashing. Okay, rule number 25, if the system, if your system needs anything to deal with location like maps, nearby resources, we should always consider using quad tree or geo hash. Let me repeat again, rule number 25. If the system needs anything to deal with a location like maps, nearby resources, we should consider using quad tree or geo hash. Thank you. Thanks a lot.